Hello and welcome. In this short video, I want to touch base a little bit on this relatively new uh, service, which became a part of a Power Platform. It's called Power Virtual Agents. And um, I just wanted to let you know what it is and what type of licensing considerations should be um, taken into consideration. So first of all, what are virtual power agents? Basically, these are just uh, chatbots that can be used you know, to automate some things like help desk or some other um, services that you provide, for example, interaction with clients, uh, meeting scheduling, even um, like um, frequently asked questions, uh, knowledge base, uh, you know, some some things which can be automated relatively simple. And this is uh, a new addition to Power Platform. Uh, what happens is uh, it's quite intuitive, you know, when you build uh, virtual agents it's it's intuitive it's easy to do and let's have a look basically at what are the main two versions of uh, virtual agents uh, currently there are two options which are available to you and one is a web application the main use case for the web application is to interact with your customers. So if you have some external customers, you can direct them to the website and they would be able to, uh, you know, to start chatting with your bot to get some information or things like that. So this use cases could be internal and external. When we talk about internal, this is mainly for large enterprises. But as I mentioned, this is quite a new addition to Power Platform, so maybe the maturity of this technology is not yet um, out there. So uh, I'm sure there will be some tests soon and we'll get to know it deeper. Uh, and also this uh, options for virtual agents, they are available in MS Teams. So basically you can embed a chatbot in your Microsoft team and use it for internal purposes. So like to do some things within teams. So let's have a look uh, at a very quick, uh, uh, this is the URL. It's a powerva.microsoft.com. If you go to this URL, you, you will uh, navigate directly to the main page for the virtual agents. And I have, I, I'm already signed in here. Uh, what you can see on the main page are the three main steps that you need to do to publish a VA. So you add some topics, you build some logic behind it, very simple logic. Then you publish your bot and then you can monitor the performance. In this video, I wanted to touch uh, on uh, licensing consideration. So when you build uh, this virtual bots, one of the questions that come into the mind is how much would it cost? And of course, uh, let's have a look at the billing options. Uh, where do we have the billing? Uh, one second, I just need to find it. So this is a Power Virtual Agents pricing. If we look at the pricing, option um, if we buy the power virtual agents web app option then this is the price so um, it means that at least this amount of money you will need to spend per month for 2000 sessions and then the question would be what are considered to be built sessions if uh, we look uh, deeper, you know, there are some additional sessions. So minimum that you would spend if you deploy it in production would be at least a thousand per month. So 
it looks to me like it's aimed at middle size and larger size businesses to do it for small business i'm not sure if this would be a relevant um, service to use but you know it depends on your business of course um, then power agents you see here if we uh, look at this small script we understand that uh, basically the build session would be the one that lasts one hour maximum and it has a hundred turns so it means that the user would uh, send a message to the chatbot hundred times and, and get a reply hundred times back um, and if i click here on learn more then there are um, you know there is an option to view build sessions for virtual po uh, power agents and uh, if i scroll down you see there is this build session this is the only thing where you get built for and also there are some embedded test sessions so when you create a bot and you just uh, test it it doesn't count towards this build quota uh, and also uh, there is one metric called engaged sessions and this is used to determine how efficient your bot is this would be a great thing to do the analysis um, to see you know if if it really makes sense to use the bot or not uh, so currently there is a trial option available uh, for example i have a in my tenant i have it configured as a trial and uh, it just says no expiration currently but i'm sure uh, when the service gets more mature then there will be an expiration date here and also an interesting thing to know when we use power virtual agents in teams then um, the licensing is a little bit different if i understand it correctly from microsoft website that uh, virtual agents for microsoft teams do not count towards build sessions so it means that basically you can use this uh, virtual agents if it's included in your subscription and you would not have to pay some extra money um, i'm sure this will change also in future but for the time being this is a great time to start testing and um, you know just to play around with it a little bit to see how it works and how to um, if it's really worth for your company or not you know you, you can decide uh, also you see here if, if i uh, go to this analytics page to monitor performance i see some tabs like summary customer satisfaction and billing and billing would be the place on which i click to see how many sessions you know i, I actually used in my case it's zero because i haven't used any build sessions yet um so that's a brief introduction i hope you get an idea and uh, i hope it's been helpful to you have a great day and stay healthy bye bye